I finally received the tires and the wheels that I ordered in early December. Uh, and um, it, it took me about maybe six weeks to get the tires. They came in around mid-January. And I just got the wheels today. They just got delivered today. And I'll tell you, man, they really tried to fuck with me, man, because, you know, from the time they got shipped, next thing you know, uh, it was a few weeks later that they arrived from California, and that's when the UPS tracking went live. So it showed the party from California, and it sat there for about three or four days, and I'm thinking it's moving across the country, which they might have been. But next thing you know, uh, that was Monday last week, a week ago yesterday, and it said departed from Southern California. And then that following Friday, all of a sudden it said delayed. Now, some of you who know me probably saw that, you know, showed it to you, but, but anyway, right now I'm wondering where they are. Did they even leave Southern California? And uh, so I'm left not knowing, and I, I didn't bother calling UPS, because all they're going to do is look at the same tracking that I have. So I just kind of decided to wait patiently. And the next thing you know, I think maybe Saturday or something like that, I got another notice. It wasn't really an update, but it just said something along the lines of a railroad problem. So now I'm really wondering, okay, where are they and how long is it going to take? And then um, I would say that probably by Monday, which was yesterday, I saw them arrive in Jacksonville. Now, being a frequent recipient of packages to get shipped via UPS, that told me that if they arrived in Jacksonville, you know, during the day, that means I'm getting them next day. So that's exactly what happened. So they were delivered today, this morning, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a little peek at these wheels. So it took a little over a month to get here. And meanwhile, my, um, my wheels had already been, I guess, pretty close to completion. I think it took like, they have it listed for 20 to 30 days for the manufacturing, and then another month or two to get them shipped. And boy, did they use every bit of it to get them here. So it's almost three months to the day that I actually received these wheels from the time I ordered them. And my, uh, my tires have been sitting in my garage for about, for about a month and a half. I sure hope they're still good. They don't do any cracking or anything like that, but nah, they'll, they'll be fine. But anyway, uh, I can't wait to get them on there. And uh, you know, so that's kind of where we are. I just want to give you an idea in the, in the time frame uh, what it took to get them to me. So here we are. Let's talk about them. Okay, we're here with the four wheels. Took long enough for me to get here, but this is the 20, 21 by 12 dimension, so we're going to be opening this for the first time. I'm going to somehow get this out of here without too much trouble. Maybe I'll try to remove the plastic first. finish and it's got a uh, little bit of a glossy sort of finish on it. I think that's the glaze. There's a closer look. You see how this thing is taking up the whole table and this thing is huge, you know, just sitting on the table in front of me. And this is the front. The size of this wheel is uh, actually nine and a half inches wide by 20 diameter. And I'm gonna be mounting 255, 30, 20s 
that's the size tire that's going to go here in the front. Now the ones in the rear are going to be 21 inch. And the tires, actually it's a 21 inch by 12 inch rim. And the tires are going to be 325, 25, 20 ones. And, you know, I thought it might be better just to bring one of the smaller ones in the table. You can see how big it is. It's just a little weighty too. I, mean, I, mean, I feel a, a pretty good amount of weight too. It's not that heavy, but, you know, just, just feeling the weight of this. I can't imagine how heavy the stock wheels are. I know I'm going to be saving some weight. I probably want to go ahead and uh, put them on a scale and see, how, see, see what these weigh. And then maybe get an idea of what I'm working with. Um, what I might do is I might just go ahead and weigh them while they're mounted and then weigh the stock wheels and tires while they're, while they're mounted as well before I store them away and maybe calculate the difference. And that'll be for a future video. I'll give you that information. So I'll give you a closer look at the wheel here. Again, this is the front. And if you can see there in the center cap, it has Aero Lari, and then it says 18 of 299. Now, for this particular wheel, or for any particular design, they only, Aero Lari is only going to produce 299 of each design. So this is number 18. And they have about 12 different designs that you can go with for the Corvette. Now I'm not even talking color, I'm just talking about specifically the design. And you know, you're gonna, they're gonna be able to go up, up to 299 per design. So I guess this is the 18th of this particular one that, uh, that I have here. And the name, the name of these, uh, the name of these wheels are weird, man. I mean, I can never, I can never remember the name, but I'll have to go back into my phone and see what it says. You know specifically what this design is called. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it up, up here for you so you can see out of Fiaturi or something like that. But anyway, uh, that's what I got. The finish on this one is called Ghost Ghost Black Brush. So if you look closely, it actually has a brush finish. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but it's actually a brush finish. You can actually see it throughout. That's really all I have for you today. Um, I've got the other three wheels in the garage. I've already inspected them. You know, it looks like they're in pretty good shape here. We didn't get any uh, dents or anything like that. They package them pretty well. And I've got these four big boxes in my garage now taking up all this space. And, uh, but like I said, uh, they came in today. Tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and get them mounted, so it's not gonna take long. You know, they'll be here between nine and 12. Uh, by the time you see this video, we'll probably be ready to be done. And, uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you some footage of the actual mounting itself. You know, in fact, I might just go ahead and put it in this video here, you know, just to give you a little intro to it. And then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put it put in the second half of this video where the guy is, uh, where, the, where the service comes out here and, and does the mounting. You know, so the way this, the way the uh, design is here, I know you thought my video was almost over, but guess again. The way this, the way this uh, wheel is designed, as you can see, this, this one is going to go, this is the front left wheel, so this is going to be the driver's side in the front. And if you can see how this directional pattern goes, this is the way I chose to go with it. So, um, and of course in the rear it will be the same. And then, uh, like I said, these wheels are directional, so you got to make sure that uh, they go on the right side of the car if you want a specific design layout, which you see here. Again, this is the driver's side front, and uh, this is the way I choose to have it, you know, when it gets done. These wheels are fully forged from one piece, it says it right there, from one piece of, of metal, and this Arvalari down here, and then looking on the inside, okay, just kind of gives you an idea of what to look at. So as you can see in the inner barrel, uh, Aralari has some specifications starting with the numbering, you know, number 18 of 299, and then it gives you the dimensions of the wheels, and then also the load information, and then the type of aluminum, I guess that is, and the manufacturing date. So Chet doesn't miss a thing uh, when it comes to uh, developing this product here. Now, what's cool about this, the offsets are built in. The offset is built into the wheel so that it puts the tire flush with the fender. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, uh, 
trying to specify the offset that I needed. And that's what's nice about this Aero Lobby website, website because you know there's one link there and all you have to do is just click the CA Corvette link and there are all your choices right there. And then all you have, really have to do is select your size and then you finish. And then you're good to go. So, and then it also has another, another uh, link in that page that tells you all the size tires that'll fit that particular rim. Because this one's nine and a half, I had the option of going nine inches, but it gives you all the tires that could go in that rim and they're guaranteed not to rub. So that's why I got this nine and a half. Uh, many people are going with nines, but I went with nine and a half and I'm going up to 255 for my tires. And then of course in the back, you know, they have 245s in the front stock. In the back, I had 305 stock on an 11 inch wheel. So I'm increasing it to a 12 inch wheel and going to, up to a 325, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna increase by an inch wide in the back and I'm gonna increase by, I think it's eight and a half to the stock tires, stock wheels. So I'm gonna increase by an inch also in the front. And then of course, and of course the tire size is increased as well. So we make our way outside, obviously it's the next day, and as you can see, the installers are halfway done. They've got the right side completed, they're just finishing that up. And I can't say enough about these installers uh, for Tire Rack. They've done a marvelous job with my car and they took all the necessary measures in uh, safeguarding the quality of the car and the wheels and tires themselves. And then over in the back there, we have the van where they're uh, finishing up the mounting and the balancing of the remaining tires and wheels. Again, this gentleman too, he's uh, really knowledgeable and very good at what he does. Uh, these guys are, are not amateurs by any, any stretch of the imagination. And as we make our way back over to C8, to the driver's side, uh, this other gentleman here is in the process of uh, taking the stock wheels and tires off so that they can go ahead and complete it. Again, they did a great job. Now here's the end product. What do you think? I really love the way they turned out. I'm really pleased overall with, with really everything. Chet Ball, who's the owner of uh, Aralari, uh, really did a great job in, in managing the whole process and making it uh, as seamless as possible, you know, all the way from the ordering process on the website itself to addressing any questions that, uh, that we have as a customer throughout the entire process. He was prompt, uh, very quick in responding. So hats off to you, Chet. Thank you.